Welcome to another episode of The Read Pile. I picked up the Killer. This is volume... Shoot. Five, six... One, two, three, six. This is volume six. I picked this up early to mid-December. You're probably seeing this early to mid-January. But, um... Because I have stuff already scheduled. But I picked this up. I said that it was dense. And it is. This one took me a while to read. Uh, there is just... I have words to get through. Um, that's not a complaint. I don't mind a dense read. It's just the practicality of doing sort of a weekly show and the amount of stuff that I need to get through. Uh, following this, I will be reading some sh shorter, faster things in order to, to catch back up to get ahead on these videos again. That uh, is irrelevant. So the book is good. I recommend it. But... <clears throat> There's a phrase that I'm trying not to use, which is, this is not for everyone. And that should be obvious. It can be applied universally to anything. And I just want to describe what this is. Because if you're unfamiliar with European comics, they are a different breed than American, sort of the, the English, UK, Canadian, American stuff. And a separate beast from the Asian comics, right? The Killer in particular is, well, it's a French book, but this in particular is very um, political, it's philosophical. There's a lot of that in here, both philosophy and political, uh, because of how things ended up in the previous volume, where he's at is very different. So you can read this as if it were volume one, and um, you'd be fine, because he fills you in on what you need to know, and the only thing, really, if you had read the previous stuff, you would see a contrast from where he was versus what he's doing now, which is uh, in the same pocket, but um, constrained. But he talks about, he talks about all that. So here is the killer. In this volume, he's going by the name Denis. And, uh, you never know his actual name. I mentioned this in the weekly, too, but there is a Netflix adaptation uh, probably coming next year. Uh, Michael Fassbender, which should be good. I'm looking forward to it. I hope it happens. I hope they don't cancel it before it can happen. Uh, but the art in this is phenomenal. You get, uh... There's plenty of talking heads, but also you get these just beautiful landscape shots. Uh, there's some stuff later on where they're they're at a beach and there's just this rock that you want to keep seeing, and it's this one here. But there's larger shots of that. Oop! There's a car crash uh, and a shootout, and uh, there's a couple of well, there's at least one sex scene that I can remember. Where's that rock? Look at this bridge. I mean, this bridge is just stunning. Anyway, so here's here's some of the talking hands. There's uh, one of the politicians is being interviewed, sort of the politician that is uh, not quite targeted, but uh, he is a, definitely a, a purchase of, uh, person of interest. Uh, there's that rock. It's not the best angle. There are better. Look, I mean, uh, it's so good. This artist is... It's great. Also, the writing is phenomenal. Like I said, it's very philosophical. Philosophical? That's not a word. Um, it's full of a lot of philosophy. Sort of about the state of the world, state of working in an office, and, and what that means. And it's, it's his mindset sometimes versus normal people. He is... Um, the killer does not think, he does not really want necessarily to interact with the rest of society, but he knows the position he's in and what he has to do, and it's it's incredibly interesting, it's very good, I, like I said, this is fun, six, I own the other five, so I'm a fan of the series, I'm a fan of this creative team, they have done all of them, it's, it's a very good series, I don't know how many people are reading it, possibly outside of France, but it is very good. It's highly recommended. It's just not for everyone, which again, 
should be a very obvious statement, but it's, um, there, there is action, it's sort of low on action. There's, um, like I said, it's a lot of politics, it's a lot of philosophy, and if that sounds interesting, then I absolutely recommend it. If it doesn't, if you're not compelled by the art that I just showed off, then don't, don't try it. Uh, that's that's really all I can say, but I thoroughly enjoyed this. I hope there's more. I will check out the Netflix series whenever that comes out, but um, this was great, and I need to, again, read something shorter, something uh, more like The Wretch. So, I will get to this as soon as I possibly can. This has been great. Huge fan. <laughs>